as stated by video 8006. Noticeable differences between you and others make up your individuality. Individuality, that means personal distinctions. If you want to professionally run your business of the self, you must understand what is hidden deeply within the self. Self, that means segments of individuality. The self is made up of one and only one true self, plus as many poor selves as you have pursuits. What all the see of your true self is your identity. What all the see of your poor self what all the see of a self of yours is your persona. Your physical appearances depend on both your identity and your persona. Your physical appearances include physiological differences and changes as well as body image and fashion. Each per self of yours is a different version of your true self. Each per self of yours is the manifestation of your true self taking on a pursuit of yours. Per self, that means pursuit derived version of the true self. Here is the bottom line. To understand what is hidden deeply within the self, we need to understand what the true self is made up of. Your true self is your personal foundation. Here, the word true self is spelled without a space in between true and self. It, your true self, is the foundation of your self, that is, the self you possess. Your true self, your personal foundation, is made up of three main components. Pursuits, personality, and perspection. Personality, for example, is further divided into five components. These include security, sense, character, and integrity. Tumas book, that is the first book of Tumas, provides an in-depth understanding for each of the true self components as well as their subordinates. If you have two pursuits, you have two poor selves each of which contains a different version of the three components of the true self. For example, if a pursuit of yours is sport, a pursuit of yours is your sport self, which carries a sport personality, a variant of your true self personality. If the other pursuit of yours is education, the other self of yours is your student self, which carries a student personality. Another variation, another variation of your true self personality. In the above example, you have the self that is made up of three self segments: your true self, your sport self, and your student self. Your sport self is a sport-based version of your true self. Your student self is a school-based version of your true self. Ideal, that means most desirable. Your ideals are the things you want to have the most. An ideal self is the set of all self-segments an individual wants to be the most. 
your ideal self is the combination of one your most desirable true self and two all the poor selves you want to have the most in the above example your ideal self include both your ideal sports self and your ideal student self along with your one and only one true self do you still remember your hardcore departments from video 8019 all the activities you do in your life can be divided into five life departments health relations dreams career and retirement to fully express your ideal self you must also express the ideal health for your sport self as well as the ideal health for your student self to fully express your ideal self you must also express the ideal relations for your sport self as well as the ideal relations for your student self to fully express your ideal self you must also express what are ideals in health in relation for each per self of yours. It is not practical, however, to aim for your absolute ideal self. It is more practical to aim for your target self. What is your ideal self of 10 years from now? What is your ideal self of 20 years from now? Your ideal 10 year self and your ideal 20 year self are two different target selves of yours. As you drop your pursuit in sport and in education, your ideal 20 year self will not include your sport self or your student self. A snapshot of your present self is called your baseline self. As you compare various target selves with your baseline self, you begin to see the complexity of your ideal self. Without too much language, it's hard to have fully effective articulation of your ideal self. Here is a kicker. Adulthood, that means deliberate future. Until you have an explicit expression of your ideal self, you do not have a documented proof, documented proof of adulthood. Again, until you have an explicit expression of your ideal self, you do not have a documented proof of adulthood. Without effective articulation of your ideal self, you cannot fully run your business of the self and you may thus still not be a true adult even in your retirement. Marriages and jobs do not make adulthood. So, do not wait until retirement to find out that you were never an adult. 